Hey everybody, iHorrorMovies here. Uh, remember a while back where I came up with that idea for a video game discussion series? Well, here's episode one. Today we're starting out with probably the most well-known RPG series ever, the Final Fantasy series. And I have a picture here of Final Fantasy IV as the main theme because that's probably my favorite Final Fantasy game, although I do love all of them. But I think IV is probably my number one. So, the premise of this series also, let me take a step back real quick. Um, every now and then I'll come out with a video like this. Um, once a week or something like that. Some sort of consistent, consistent schedule, uh, maybe. I'll make a video um, talking about a video game series. It doesn't have to be RPGs. Um, it can be pretty much any game series, really. Um, I mean, it, well, a lot of them will be, of course, RPG-oriented because that's my favorite genre of games. But I'll also expand as we go along. But I figured for today's episode, or for the for the first one, start off with the big one, the Final Fantasy series. So what we're, what we're talking about is, well, pretty much how we discover the series, um, what's your favorite game in the series, what you want the series to do more of in the future, maybe what you don't like about the series, um, stuff like that. So here's my take on the Final Fantasy series. I mean, it's pretty much my favorite set of video games because they're all in their own way awesome. Some not quite as awesome as others, but all in all, I mean, I don't read into them all that much. I play them because I like them, and I do like all of the games. The stories are good. Uh, the gameplay is really, really fun all across the board. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much hooked on the series. Um, not a fanboy or anything because that's just stupid. I buy the games because I like them. Simple as that. We have some stories about the Final Fantasy series, how I came into it. I think the first game I would have played would have been Final Fantasy 2 on the Super Nintendo. I remember there was a big old grocery store that we would go to with my grandparents, actually, way back, this is like 15 some years ago, and they had a little a little uh, game store inside as well that you could rent games for a week at a time back then, um, and they had Final Fantasy 2 there, and I don't think we were actually a ever able to beat it because when we were kids, I mean, we got stuck on a uh, Mylon in the uh, Mylon Z battle up on uh, Mount Ordeals there. Um, I don't think we ever got any farther past that. Although I think the game might have had save files past that. But pretty much then, yeah, we were just hooked. And then as we went from there, as we got older, we started playing the other Final Fantasy games. Um, Another story I remember um, would have been for, I think, my 12th birthday, I think. A friend of mine got me Final Fantasy VII, which was awesome. I'm pretty sure it was... I think it would have been Greatest Hits, actually. It wasn't a black label one, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we had a uh, basketball game that night, actually, the night of my birthday. And we, a friend of mine who bought the game for me, we were on the same team, actually. And he told me before the games, like, before our games, like, oh, hey, I got you this. And I was like, oh my god, that's awesome. So I get to the basketball game, get home, and then I start playing it, and I'm pretty much hooked instantly. The weirdest thing for me was, though, it was so weird getting used to having, at least at the start, um, I didn't know how to change the configuration, but um, having X be cancel and O be accept, I really wasn't used to that uh, at that time, but I eventually realized that you can change the configuration, and boom, you're good to go. But yeah, I think as far as Final Fantasy goes in general, I think I prefer more the uh, earlier games, like I think like probably 1, 4, and 7 are some of my favorites, although I love 9, I love 8, 10's really good also, like, I mean, they're, they're all good, really. Uh, but I will definitely say that I think the series has gone downhill over time. Um, I, I, th I, th I think 10 was, I mean, a masterpiece, pretty much. Uh, 12 was real solid. Um, I mean, 13 was good. I haven't played 13-2 all that much, nor um, Lightning Returns, um, so I can't really say anything about those. I mean, maybe it's just also nostalgia that I just think that the older games are just better in general. So I mean, good or either way, I'm not saying the other games are bad. I'm sure I mean other people out there like hate 13 or they hate 12 or 10 or whatever. I mean, that's cool, but I mean, that's fine. It's your opinion. So I mean, yeah, simple as that. But yeah, there's, yeah, looking on GameFAT, there's always stuff on there about which game is the best and blah, 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 blah. Each person has their own favorite game. That's 
their own favorite game. Simple as that. They're not wrong for liking a different game than someone else. But apparently, that's not quite the case. But anyway. Yeah, this series, I have literally grown up with it over the years. Um, I'm glad it's around today. And I mean, just it almost wasn't, because back in the day, when the original Final Fantasy came out, it was pretty much their Final Fantasy. In a way, just had it not sold well, we wouldn't have the Final Fantasy series. But it did as well as it did, thankfully, and now the series has grown to like... 30 or 40 some games, including spin-offs. Um, yeah, and I've I've played just about all of them. There's a few that I haven't played, like the Final Fantasy Legends. I do have them. I just haven't really played them that much. Um, then stuff like um, 13 2 I haven't played that much. Lightning Returns I haven't played. Um, I have played 11 a little bit. Um, that was two years ago, though. I have not played 14, but I heard that was really good. But I actually, I am really hyped for Final Fantasy XV. Um, I've seen the trailers and stuff for that. For one thing, it looks absolutely fantastic. And the gameplay, I like how it's more action-oriented. Kind of like the Kingdom Hearts style-ish. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully that'll be out in... the Oh, it will be out in the future. No idea when. Apparently there's going to be a demo for it, I think, in January, I thought I heard. I, f I forget exactly. I'm sure someone out there will confirm that for me, and I thank you in advance for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Final Fantasy series, I mean, pfft, you say Final Fantasy, then you know immediately what's going on. I mean, there's games out there for everybody. I mean, some people like Final Fantasy IV the best, some like Final Fantasy V. Um, but yeah, let me, get, let me know what your favorite Final Fantasy game is. Let me know also how you discovered the series. Like I said at the start of the video, like what you guys want to see more out of the series, your like pros and cons of it. Looking forward to uh, 15. And then for um, next episode series, uh, I'm not sure what series I'll do next. You guys are always welcome to suggest series to me to talk about. I will research them and give my own take on them. I do have plenty in mind I want to do though. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy, of course, I think was the obvious choice to do first. Um, I'll do the Wild Arms series, I'll do probably the Pokemon series, um, Xenosaga for sure. Um, the Lunar series, even though it's only a couple of games there. And then also it expands to, you know, like the Spyro series, Crash Bandicoot, you know, stuff like that. So there's plenty of options out there. And like I said too, I'll update this whenever I can. I would like to do it once a week but I mean that depends on my work schedule and I also if I have time available to record um, but yeah let me guys yeah, let me know guys what you thought of this first episode thanks very much for watching and have a great day this has been iHeartMovie signing off